What up guys, this is Monkey Figure Reviews. Today we are going to talk about this figure in front of us. It is the One Piece Ichiban Kuji X Devils Prize B Marco the Phoenix by Bandai Spirits. We do not have the box today, so it's just the figure. But before we get started, I would like to give a quick shout out to our figure provider, Chronicles Inc. If you've never heard of Chronicles Inc, they are a local Singapore shop that sells figures and toys. I've been buying most of my One Piece figures from them for a few years now. They are an excellent shop, they are very reliable and they have a wide selection. And not only do they sell locally, they also ship overseas. So if you're interested to find out more about them or want to buy some figures, play some Ichiban Kujis, go ahead to their website to check them out or visit their social media handles like Facebook and Instagram. The figure itself comes in quite a number of pieces, we have two supporting stands, we have three pieces of his tail, the main body and the base are together, and the wings come separately. First impressions, I gotta say, didn't expect this figure to be this wide, because if you look at his scale, he's actually not that big, uh, maybe close to the creator x creator, but because of his form in this uh, half phoenix, half human look, his wings are outstretched, so he's actually taking quite a bit of space. Uh, it's not a bad thing actually, but for those of you who might be space constrained, it might be a problem. And he's also quite tall because uh, he's supported by those flames acting as a base. So uh, even from front to back, because of his tails which are not exactly very bendable, he's gonna need a bit of space there as well. But for me, if I'm paying quite a bit of money for this, I would expect quite a good size figure. Uh, other than that, I think the details, the quality, they are awesome, they are amazing. Uh, this is the same sculptor as the one who did uh, the usual Ichiban Kuji figures like Kaido, uh, Snake Man, Bound Man, King, Queen, upcoming Uti, Yamato. So it is the same person and I always love his nitty gritty realistic style. No issues with that and if you look at some of the details like the colouring, it's actually quite amazing on the flames, on the wings, towards the edges. Let us take a closer look at the figure starting from the head sculpt. And I think this is where a lot of people have issues with the figure, mainly from the glasses that Marco is wearing. And if you look at the character likeness, the facial likeness, as far as we can see here, uh, the eyebrows, the eyes, the nose, mouth and beard, they all look good. The left side of his face, we have some flames bursting out from his left eye. It is generally blue in colour except for some yellow shading and yellow tinge trying to capture the blue and yellow flames of Marco. From this angle, it might seem like the glasses are not that big of an issue but that's because this is the only angle in which Marco looks good in those. If I just tilt the figure back a bit, I think you can tell that the glasses are not exactly aligned. It is not properly in place, uh, he's not wearing the glasses straight. The part is glued on so it is not adjustable at all, uh, it is what it is and also those frames are really thick and ugly, unnecessarily thick, I think you can tell that from the side here. From this angle here, you can also see that due to the opacity of this lenses part of the glasses, it is not possible to see Marco's eyes at certain angles. Looking at it in real life at eye level, it is really not possible, I think it is a lot better in the video, you can still see a bit of his eye. The way I see it, it is not good enough because if I cannot see the character's face, the character likeness, the figure just loses a big part of uh, what it is trying to capture. I saw that there were quite a number of people who decided to rip out his glasses but this is not my figure so I can't do it for you guys to see but definitely I think it will look better. At least on the shelf, you can definitely appreciate his face. His hair sculpt is decent in quality and as far as I can tell, no shading is there. Of course, we have those lines and edges sculpted to show the individual strands, individual clusters. And it's kind of loose and spread out, so again, it reminds us of pineapple. His body is very muscular and chiseled with the six or eight packs. And of course, we also have his signature white beard tattoo on the top of his chest. Quality of his shirt is okay, not a lot of details, some buttons, folds and creases here and there and mostly covered up by the wings. For the bottom around his waist, he has a sash and the colour of it is very similar to the colour on the flames and the wings. You can see the creases yourself, very well done, very natural. And on this side, we have this belt-like accessory which is uh, gold and black in colour and the golden parts are painted with metallic paints. This part here, you can see a knot from the sash and it's kind of like flying towards the back so it tries to capture a bit of movement. For his pants, it's generally black in colour so nothing much to say except uh, the sculpt, the creases 
And at the bottom, we have Marco's feet, his famous Phoenix feet, blue in color. And the texturing is incredible. You can see that uh, it's like layered and rough, even just by looking at it. But if you touch it, definitely, uh, we can feel that as well. And it is also the same for the other leg with this band over here. I think it's a decorative accessory that he wears even in human form. We also have his claws. They're kind of grayish in color here. I'm not sure if that's supposed to be that way. I thought it would be more white. And it is the same for the other leg. The base, I assume these are flames coming out from Marco. And they seem to be swirling upwards or downwards from Marco. I think you can tell that just by how uh, the shape of the base is sculpted with a circular effect. The design is very similar to other bases from uh, Bound Man and Snake Man. So it is very familiar and you have all these bubblish protrusions burning upwards. Of course, over here, they did not forget to add the yellowish and greenish tinge shading to the base blue fire. So they try to get the colors correct. Uh, it's all around the base, the figures. And towards the back, we actually have the flames kind of breaking out into uh, smaller chimneys. I think I will call it that. And overall, I think the design, the shading, it is all really well done. They try to capture the spectrum of colors. Other Marco figures usually try to bring in more distinct colors like yellow, green, blue, and sometimes orange. But over here, maybe due to the way they apply or the way they paint it, it can look mostly green. Phoenix pieces are kind of connected at really odd places. Like these two parts, they are connected at the base flames, but that doesn't look like a part of a Phoenix tail coming out from Marco's butt. So I thought that was weird. The other parts is just connected at the other side of the base flames. The wings are a big feature of this figure and I can confidently say that they did not disappoint. Just by looking at the details on the wing, the lines, how they're sculpted to give us that feathered and layered look of a phoenix wing. And on top of that, they cannot forget about the flames, uh, the fires. So towards the edges, like the top and the bottom, they kind of morph between the two textures to really give us the best phoenix look possible so overall I think they've done a great job and with the colors as usual like the tinge and shading yellow tinge green tinge whatever it is uh, those are quite good there's definitely more significant shading and shadowing at this area here compared to other parts definitely more prominent just by looking at this area you can tell that the blue color some parts are darker some parts are lighter same for other areas the tip of his left wing is kind of bent I think they are trying to imitate the flapping movement of the wings and the individual strands of the fire at the top those are quite well done at the back here we have a bit of the wings almost merging into the flames of the base the other side looks great as well not as big of a bend at this tip the underside of the wings are as generous in details but maybe because they didn't add the yellow tinge, green tinge shading over here we can look at the details much more clearly, the sculpts and if you look at them, the feathers, you can see that the way they've done it with uh, the overlapping feathers it is much more obvious here the sculpt is amazing same for the other side before i conclude this part i just want to say i really appreciate them giving marco the right size wings because oftentimes if you look at other figures like the pop the figure coliseum they are so small or not the right size so it doesn't seem practical or feasible for them to be able to fly marco the height of this figure from the bottom to the top of the wings that is around 24 cm, which is around 9.5 inches. If you're just talking about his physical body, we will take the bottom of his feet here to the top of his head. That will be around 17 cm, which is close to 6 and 3 quarter inches. Bear in mind that he is a bit bent forward. I had also measured his width off camera from left to right, and that is around 38 cm across. And from front to back, he is around 24 cm. So you can imagine he will need quite a bit of space to be displayed. Here I have taken out some of my Mako figures so we can do a little bit of comparison. This is my sitting down Ichiban Kuji Mako figure. I can't remember the exact name of the Kuji series because it's been a while. And this is my Mako POP figure. Between these two, you can tell that this Mako is definitely smaller in scale and size to the POP. So they don't exactly match up. This guy here is around the creator x creator series around the sitting down figures before i would think that these two will be similar in size and scale but now looking at them in real life this marco is actually uh, smaller and skinnier just by a little bit 
uh, it is quite obvious the head is smaller the body is skinnier here i've taken out my figure colosseum marco figure in case any one of you is thinking how they compare generally this marco doesn't really have a lot of things going on not a lot of flames and uh, the wings they try to play with more colors for example the yellow the teal to try to give more vibrancy to the flames and wings of him lastly how could i leave out my pop maximum white beard figure to see how they look like next to each other and in terms of scale i think my fair colosseum marco is a much more accurate fit next to this white beard but if you don't care about accuracy you just want a bigger white beard and a smaller marco i think these two will actually be okay both have their effects showcasing their different powers mine is an add-on but i think you guys get the idea one issue you might face here is that due to the design of uh, marco's wings and uh, white beard's coats and weapon it will be quite difficult for you to keep them in close proximity they're gonna clash with each other but if you can put them apart space them apart in your display then that wouldn't be a problem all right guys that's pretty much all i want to say about this figure i forgot about the supporting stands as you can see they are not necessary at all but if you worry about long-term leaning then you can just put them on they are not very visually obstructing anyway overall i think this is a really really good figure i like the wing size like i mentioned i think it does marco's form justice Main complaint is just the glasses on his face, that part really let the figure down. And maybe for the colours on the wings, the flames, they could have been more ambitious, playing with uh, more variety or the way they apply it. It could have been more wild and crazy to really capture the kind of uh, randomness, fire effect. This figure is definitely one that I recommend whether or not you are a Marco fan. Alright guys, as usual, let me know what you guys think of this figure in the comments section below. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Thank you guys for spending your time with me. I will see you very soon. Goodbye.